Hey everybody, this is Dave. Just wanted to show you uh, my new project. It's not really new, I guess. It's uh, It's been in here for about a year. Um, so it's a 1970 Monte Carlo. Uh, I've actually owned three of these. This is the third one I've owned. I bought my first one when I was about 18. So um, this one here I bought last year in North Carolina and uh, the um, it was in pretty bad shape lots of rust it didn't look that bad but man oh man was it it was a rust bucket the uh, the biggest issue was the uh, rear window uh, these they're notorious these a bodies to leak like this to leak and also to rust there and uh, the biggest culprit is the vinyl top that's really what kills it. So, um, I'll show you where we are. Um, I had to rip the vinyl top off and uh, I uncovered a lot of rust and uh, I've got some videos so you can take a look at that right there. So now here we are, let's look at what we got. So, I'm still missing some pieces. Uh, this, uh, obviously the, the bezels are gone right now. They're still getting painted. Um, it looks pretty dirty and dusty from all the DA dust, but pretty much the body is not in bad shape. Uh, this whole sail panel right here was rusted all the way through. Uh, and I purchased another sail panel, uh, basically half of a quarter panel, and uh, I had my body guy put that on. Uh, the other thing that was really bad was all of this, all of this window channel, all of this pinch weld, uh, all of this deck lid uh, was completely rotted through as you saw from the pictures. So this is all done, uh, it's all metal and all been smoothed out. It's got a couple things that need to be handled uh, from the body guy, he's going to come and uh, do a few things. Uh, but all in all, it's not too bad. Even this side here was was bad as well. Um, and the roof, the roof was absolutely terrible. Um, and I'm showing you the pictures now. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to be, probably going to do sort of like a NASCAR look. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I do like this this mat color uh, I might I might get it reshot again with a different kind of mat maybe it's not quite as smooth or not quite as uniform as I'd like it to be but nevertheless it, it, it definitely looks a lot better um, camera around so you guys can see it um, The other thing that I did was I had them remove all the reflectors and the uh, body marker lights. So they've all been uh, deleted. So as you can see right here, that is gone. And um, they're gone. Um, and all of the molding that used to be down here that had. Um, clips on it that held it. All that is all that is removed. Uh, no more Monte Carlo here. Um, and uh, I do have that one here. We left that one, uh, and we left the trunk emblem, and uh, we left the 
I'm gonna call it a spire, but maybe it's not called that. I'm not sure, but uh, that right there. We left that there. Um, it's got a 350 300 in it, and uh, it it's not doing great. It needs a lot of work. Um, but the plan is the plan is to this is an LQ4. It's out of a early 2000s, uh, or, the, or I'm sorry, early 2000, 2500 Silverado. Uh, it's a six liter. Uh, it's got 317 heads on it. And my goal is to just take this and drop it in there. Uh, I'm going to change the cam, change the springs. I've got a different set of heads for it, 706 heads. Um, I'm going to put a comp cam in it and um, that's pretty much it uh, I, and I'm going to play around with the intake I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet uh, the intake I'm going to either leave this truck intake on it or I might go see if I can find an LS3 intake um, but I'm trying to do it on the cheap uh, these LS motors are everywhere you can find them everywhere so I want to be able to uh, do it with as many factory GM parts as possible. So that's sort of where we are right now. I'll show you the interior. It's a uh, it's an electric window car, which I'm not that thrilled about. I I know almost rather have the crank up windows. Uh, it's a bench, and uh, the carpet in this is just roached. You can see right here. Look at this. The color difference between where the sill plate was covering it and that it, it it's actually brown i thought it was brown carpet when i first got it but it was just really really faded so uh that's pretty much it the, the um the headliner is supposedly they redid it but i i don't know i'm probably gonna rip it all out and just start new so um that's our first installment. I'm hoping to maybe uh, once I get the bezels on and once I get the thing cleaned up, uh, I'll shoot some more video and send another uh, update out. So there you go.